All right, so let's look now at one of the features that I think is a killer feature in WordPress. There's really two things about WordPress that I absolutely love, and it's their hooks and actions um, system and their shortcode uh, features. So the first thing, let's look at their um, filters and hooks. So basically, like I said in the first video, you're working only in the themes and plugins. But sometimes you want to modify things that happen in the core of WordPress because it does a lot of things sort of automatically trying to figure everything out and simplify your life. But sometimes you want to say, okay, I want to change this. I want to customize this. I want this to do something a little bit different. And you don't want to be modifying the core because then the next time that WordPress sends out an update, it breaks everything. It's going to overwrite all of your stuff. And it's just going to create a general headache. And so it has this hooks and action system in place that allows you to basically say, okay, whenever this action is fired, run this function. Um, a good op uh, example is right here. Um, we're saying, okay, there's a send headers action, and it's going to be fired you know, somewhere fairly early on as WordPress's core is being added or is being loaded. And so we're going to say, okay, whenever this action is fired, we want add header HTML5. We want a function of that same name to be executed. Okay, and you can see right below it, we've actually defined the function and we want it to um, set a new header, which is appropriate for the send headers action here. And so that's all we're doing. We're saying, okay, whenever you get to that point when um, you're getting ready to send headers, let's fire this function and then I can put whatever I want to in here. You know, if it was a different um, use, I might be saying, okay, let's echo something out, let's change something, let's query the database and look at something. Whatever we want to do, we can do inside these functions. And we're just sort of tying our functions into various places throughout the WordPress core and sometimes through into our themes as well. Um, so that's a fairly simple way to do things. There's tons of uh, actions that you can look up to see where in the core you can modify things. Um, with a little creativity, you can hook into practically anywhere in the core. Just about everything that happens has an action associated very close to it. So it's almost unlimited what you can do. Now there's also a variation on actions called filters. And you can see an example of a filter up here. And it's doing the same thing. It's going to say, okay, um, whenever this filter is fired, execute this function. And you can see that function, this is a custom function, of course that I'm loading with one difference. Okay, so with a filter, it's actually going to send some information in as an argument. It's going to pass some information in. So I can say, okay, in this case, it's going to send in an array of some information. Maybe it's a class or something like that. And I want to add in, or I want to modify or add to that array and then return it. So it's going to pass in some information as an argument, and then whatever is returned is going to replace whatever was the information that was passed in. So maybe you know there's a filter that allows you to filter the content before it's saved. If someone's working in the admin panel, creating a new post or editing a page or something like that, there's a, a filter that you can hook into that you can say, okay, I want to get that content before it's saved to the database. I'm going to modify it inside my function somewhere, and then whatever I return out is what I want the content to then become. So then I want that to be saved to the database, etc. So filters are just basically accepting some information into that function. You modify it, look up, do whatever you want to do with it, and then return the new set of information that you want. And a lot of this stuff is just a matter of looking up, okay, this particular filter is going to send in this particular information, and most of that you can look up online um, there's, you know, WordPress Codex is a great resource, and where it doesn't have information, you can usually fill in the blanks pretty easily with a Google search to see, okay, what does this particular filter, what information is it going to be passing in? In this case, I know it's going to be an array because I looked it up somewhere, um, but obviously it's going to send different information depending on what part of the core you're working with. So those are the two things about WordPress, or the, um, the hooks in action, I guess, would be considered one thing that is really fascinating and really easy to work with. Um, there's lots of great references. I'll link to a few um, in the notes below that you can kind of get started and see all the different things that are possible.